And that was from the preface. An adventure to think that no one can rise from the perusal of Elthron without agreeing with that motto from St. Augustine, which Sale has prefixed to his title page, Nulla Falsa Doctrina Est, Qua Non Liquid Veri Per Miskiat Quast Ambelica 2.40. That's where that quote's from, I guess. Um, the Arabic text with this, which this translation has been made is that of Flugel Lipis from 1841. The translations of Sale, Ullman, Wahl, Hammer von Bergstahl in the Fungruben des Orients and M. Kesimirsky have been collated throughout, and, above all, the great work of Father Marachi, to whose accuracy, well, you can tell by that Latin phrase just how um, skewed, and if you're skewed in attention rather than open-minded, your translation is going to come off a lot um, with problems that it might not come up with. Um, and research sales work mainly owes its merits. Sale has ever followed Marachi too closely, especially by introducing his paraphrastic comments into the body of the text, as well as by his constant use of Latinized instead of Saxon words. But to Sale's preliminary discourse, the reader is referred as to a storehouse of valuable information as well as to the works of Geiger, Garoch, and Freitag, and to the lives of Muhammad by Dr. Weil, Mr. Muir, and that of Dr. Springer, now issuing from the press in German. The more brief and poetical verses of the earlier suar are translated with a freedom from which I have altogether abstained in the historical and prosaic portions. Well, if he was better with the language, stuff would come through, but it's, it's, it's hard to render lyrical beauty in, you know, even if you go outside the idea that the Arabic word for prose and the Arabic word for poetry does not really apply to the Quran, even if you don't believe in Islam, you can admit that, but um, but I have endeavored nowhere to use a greater amount of paraphrase than is necessary to convey the sense of the original. Vel verbum averbo, says St. Jerome, uh, prafica in Jobum. Oh, I don't remember how to say the word for preface. Of versions. Vel sensum e sensu vel ex utrope comixtum et medi temperatum genus translate junis. The proper names are usually given as in our scriptures, the English reader would not easily would not easily recognize Noah as Nu, Lot as Lut, Moses as Musa, Abraham as Ibrahim, Pharaoh as Pharaoh, Aaron as Harun, Jesus as Isa, John as Yahya, etc. It has been thought best to give different renderings of the same constantly occurring words and phrases in order to more fully convey their meaning. For instance, the Arabic words, which mean companions of the people of the book, uh, uh, companions of the fire, also rendered of inmates as, etc., given up, uh, you got the people of the book, you know, the Jews, Christians, the Sabians, is sometimes retained, and some, of course, say that the people of the book include, um, you know, include other peoples who received a scripture, but certainly not people who just followed the tribal tradition that we have a holiday here and this sort of thing. We don't really have, um, sometimes retained, sometimes paraphrased. The remark applies to some words as tanzil, literally down sending, or revelation, zikr, the remembrance or constant 
repetition or mention of God's name as an act of devotion, Saha, the hour or present final judgment, and the various epithets of the Quran, I have nowhere attempted to represent the rhyme of the original, and certain implications in the language I think are generally avoided, which if you're reading the Arabic you would have got. Um, the proven of H. V. Bergstahl in the Fungruben des Orients, excellent as they are in many respects, show that this can only be done with the sacrifice of literal translation. I subjoin as a specimen Lieutenant Burton's version of the Fatiha, our opening chapter of the previous editions, and Surah 8, page 28. I have endeavored, he adds, in this translation to initiate the perfect rhyme of the original Arabic. Such an attempt, however, full of difficulties, Arabic is a language in which, like Italian, is almost impossible not to rhyme. Uh, Pilgrim 2, 78. And if you look at stuff outside the Quran, you don't get the same impression. Arabs can't do the, th you know, there are things like in various parts of the Quran that, you know, this is not something we do. The, the, changing the rhyme with the subject matter um, is a lot more difficult than people realize. Um, now, Urdu, I think, is easier to rhyme. You get, nah, you know, uh, um, I don't mean that disruptly. I'm, I'm trying to think of words, but I can't think of words. I don't really know any, much, about, uh, much about Urdu. Um, other than it's a camp, you know, a camp language, it's a mixture of, of, of Hindi and Arabic and Farsi, and um, I don't know. I think it's, it could be a mix of some other stuff too. Maybe throw in some Mongolian words or something. Um, in the name of Allah, the Merciful, the Compassionate, praise be to Allah, who the three worlds made. The merciful, the compassionate, the king of the day of fate. Thee alone do we worship, and of thee alone do we ask aid. Guide us the path that is straight, the path of those to whom thy love is great, not those on whom is hate, nor they that deviate. Amen. Well, amen is not technically part of the Quran, but it's, you know, the Amin is a response. And all the created realms, not just physical, but um, otherwise. But the three worlds, I guess, because um, we're looking at the plural, um, says something along the lines of... The light beings, the fire beings, the humans. A phrase that occurs 19 times in Al-Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, those 19 letters, which is the first verse which we just conveyed, or the zero verse, either way, that chapter is seven verses is something that people say is of Zoroastrian or Jewish origin, but the fact is is that those Jewish and Zoroastrian uses don't exist in um, till after the Islamic traditions were being written down, so um, in the bigger collections. But if we say that some of these things that are passed over. We're believing in the original revelation of all the prophets, if we claim belief in Al-Quran. And Surah 73 and 74 are, in a way, like 1 Corinthians 11.10, and that in covering, one's shielded from something, or put in a different state, you could say, but it's, I guess, clearer and more broad-reaching in the chronic use. 
Now, the Bible uses a lot of symbols, too. In the Quran, um, these are not necessarily put off by themselves in a mystery that, you know, just sort of stands by itself in that respect. But except for the Christian ideas of the law of atonement and that sort of thing, which goes against the, uh, the older biblical law of atonement, you could say that Islam and its upholding the merit of every belief, every action is very in accord with what people would consider to be the spirit of the Bible. Islam has sort of the teaching buried in the Bible, even about Jesus, that these miracles were given for an effect. Of course, the Quran is believed to be the greatest and more accessible miracle. Um, but you could say that about the previous scriptures, couldn't you? And 